Hello everybody, this is Gregory with How I Lost Over 100 Pounds and I've kept it off for 30 plus years where there should be no hesitance in your weight loss and in your weight maintenance. Today we're going to talk about should you engage in unhealthy eating and other behaviors to lose weight? Is it justified? Now before we begin, if you need help with weight loss, contact me through the Clarity FM link down here in the episode notes. Also check out my two books, which you can find on Amazon, my podcast, The Awakened Man, which has been around since 2017. And lastly, if you appreciate my content, there's a link for PayPal. So some people would say the ends justify the means. You know, we, we've heard that. That's kind of a term that's commonly used in moral relativism. And you could kind of use it in, in, in this case. We, we can rationalize tons of behaviors. We can rationalize infidelity. We can rationalize uh, embezzling and, and stealing and a, and a bunch of questionable behavior. But in the case of weight loss, let's say you're 30 pounds overweight and you, let's say you're a woman and you want to get into swimsuit season and it's March and you're like, I'm eating like crap. I, I want to get my weight down. Is it okay to engage in unhealthy behavior? What do I mean by un unhealthy behavior? I mean, we, we, we have laxatives. The non-binging bulimics know these things. We have laxatives you could take. We have diuretics, or in other words, water pills you could take. Um, there's just outright starvation. And as much as I, I like intermittent fasting, you have to be very careful because if you do have a history of eating disorders, intermittent fasting can be quite bad for you because think about think about intermittent fasting. It is times of starving, starving, followed by times of you could turn into binging. So you, you could starve yourself, you could overwork out, and you could use a Zembic. We have two episodes on a Zembic. So there are things out there that, that, that are questionable that you could do. And a Zembic, read the inserts, uh, can lead to kidney problems, cancer, and other issues. But people don't think about that. When when you're overweight, you're, you're, you're desperate, especially if you've been overweight for a long time. And we did that episode, like how 50% of people would be willing to give up a year of their life to be regular weighted. 20% would rather, would rather would, would be willing to have a special ed kid or even have only one limb if they can be regular weighted. So there's a lot of desperate people out there, and I get it. If you go to my personal playlist, Confessions of an Obi Shot. I talked about right before I started losing my weight. I was suicidal, ideating. I even tried it. You know, so I mean, I get it. I understand it. To the end, justify the means. I'm not going to tell you to engage in unhealthy behavior, because see, the, the problem is, yeah, you could do diuretics, you could do um, vomiting, you could do laxatives, you could do all these things, but they're all stop gaps, right? So it's a boat that has a leak, and you have a pail, and the whole time you're just doing this. You're not fixing the leak. So yeah, short term, you might get down to your weight. You might be screwing up your body you might, metabolically and, and hormone-wise and other issues. You might be doing long-term damage to your body. But part of you is like, I don't care. I'm getting the results I want, right? Just like when somebody has an affair. Oh, I'm having an affair because my spouse isn't giving me what I want. So I'm justifying it. You know, so again, we can, we can justify and rationalize a lot of our behavior. But at the same time, doesn't make it inherently objectively right or true. So I would I would tell you that certainly it's understandable that you would want to engage in these behaviors. But I think the better the better prospect is just doing the deep work and disentangling emotions from your eating and realize and see why do you have a disordered relationship with food and, and work and focus on that. Can you do both at the same time? Of course. I mean, look, it's still a free country. You can you 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 have the freedom to engage in, in these aforementioned unhealthy activities and behavior while you're going to therapy or while you're introspecting and trying to figure out why you turned to food to to numb the pain and soothe yourself when you were younger. Sure, you can do that. I would just tell you that I'm not going to openly tell you that you should be using laxatives or unhealthy activity uh, to lose the weight because ultimately, if you don't do the deep work, what's going to happen? You're going to lose some weight. But eventually, you can't sustain it, right? We can't sustain unhealthy behavior. We can't sustain crash diets like the cayenne pepper diet, the cookie diet, all these things, the juicing. We can't sustain it because we humans need to eat. So eventually, unless you rectify your, your disordered eating, human willpower is only so much. You're going to eventually go back to your bad habits, to your previous habits, and then you're just going to regain that weight and gain even more weight. So the better thing to do is just do the deep work and disentangle your emotions from you're eating and eat like a dog. Walk away after you, you're no longer hungry. Guys, post in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. Have you engaged in unhealthy eating in the past? 
Until next time, take care, God bless, and pray.